Okay, so now we're ready to move on a little bit. We've been playing roots and fifths and starting to play walking bass lines uh, over the chord changes. And now what we want to do is to begin to add some chromatic transitions between the chord changes. Now what am I talking about? Well, it just gets a little boring just to play root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. So what I begin thinking about is how can I play little flourishes between chord changes that sort of lead me into that chord change really nicely. And they don't necessarily fall into the root fifth pattern. But sometimes they fit in this hand pattern really, really nicely. You know, we're, we're really keeping our hand blocked out like this and, um, and, and knowing where root is all the time with our index finger, fifth with pinky finger. Let me just show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. If I'm transitioning between the B flat chord and now I want to get to the E flat chord, well, if I happen to find myself on the fifth of the B flat chord, it sounds really cool to go and kind of walk down to that E flat chord. As long as I play the E flat on the downbeat of the measure where it comes, I'm going to be in good shape as a bass player. So I'm focusing on root fifth, root fifth, but a little something special in between moving to the next chord change can really be effective. So let me show you what I mean as we go through this. B flat, fifth, little transition to E flat. transition to the B flat. And it gets me right back to the downbeat. Just something to kind of walk me through to the next downbeat. So roots and fifths are the most important thing, but a couple little notes in transition to kind of make it feel cooler really, really work. And they're usually the notes that fit in between this pattern of ones and your fourth finger or two frets away. It's all in this sort of three fret pattern. Let me do it with the drum beat and just kind of give you an idea. And you can try and make up some of your own as you go. Here we go. B flat. flat. F. You feel how I stayed right in there? Third bar of B flat. Little transition to E flat. gets me right back. Try playing blues by five and add a couple of little chromatic transitions in there. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just a little something to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to do it one more time for you with quarter notes just to give you another little idea of something I might do and then you can find your own way around it. Here we go playing quarter notes. to the top, B flat. E flat. B flat. F. And we're 
we're right back to B flat again. Now, that might have gone by pretty quickly, and you need to sort of practice it and try some things. Try some things to make those chromatic transitions really work. Always land on the root note, on the downbeat of the measure. Focus around the roots and the fifths of the chord, and you'll be in good shape. Good luck with that. We'll see you next time.